Just do your best, right? That's all you ever have to do is your best. Not your average PE class starting off with a dance, but that dance serves a much bigger purpose. Kids have lots of energy, so we try to give them that opportunity to get their energy out. And getting that energy out is very important for what comes next. Coaches Bobby Ladeau and Robbie Pires are teaching mindfulness to this class of third graders. Mindfulness is at paying full attention to emotions and surroundings and slowing down to take notice of your actions. I see what I'm, I am experiencing now and because I see I can make appropriate choices. That's why when the dancing is over, we got our blood moving, we got our bodies loosened up, now we're going to do some stretching, we're going to do a little yoga routine with Movely, the monkey. There's a much calmer activity in the lesson plan. Research shows yoga promotes mindfulness by reducing stress and anxiety and improving attention span. The transition from that high energy dance to the low energy of yoga has also added benefits for these kids. Teaching them how to be mindful of their state of awareness or, or their, their energetic state and then be able to transition gracefully and skillfully. Those are things that can be taught um, and are life skills that can help them. The next part of that transition to a more peaceful state. Type of breathing exercise um, to help them, to help bring them down and, um, or some kind of mindfulness meditation. Now do your quietest hum. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Both coaches say this program is very important to focusing on all of the needs of these students. Not just address the academic curriculum standards, but to kind of serve the whole person. Lado says many times educators and adults tend to forget. The assumption is these kids know how to regulate their feelings and behave. But children need to learn these skills just as they need to focus on their studies. He says teaching students mindfulness helps improve their ability to pay attention, calm down when they're upset, and to make better decisions. A student was bothering her while we were playing and uh, out on the field, and instead of being reactionary like she might have in the past, she came up to me and she took a deep breath and she said, Coach Bobby, I need you to teach me some mindfulness right now. And the coaches say it's these types of examples that show them their curriculum is right on track. If we can get them to realize, oh, I'm feeling angry, or oh, I'm feeling hyper, we've done our job.